In today's video, we're opening a 100% graded card collection. What's up guys, we're back with more graded openings where we are opening about a 50 card collection based on this box. These usually hold about 50 cards. And this is also a consignment. And speaking of consignments, I still have a lot of cards from that 100K collection video we posted about a month ago or a few weeks ago, whatever that was. Go check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. I will be posting a lot of those cards on my Instagram at Ruxin34, so go give me a follow over there. They're gonna be for sale on my store. And that will be the case for these as well. Eventually that stuff will make it on my website, but I have so much to sell right now, I just haven't had time to put it up there. So let's open up this thing. Okay, where am I gonna put this? Okay, before we get to this giveaway, I'll be giving away this quarter century firewall dragon. It's sealed by the way. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below your favorite card in this video. There's a lot of nice graded cards to pick from, Let's get into it. All right, I've gotten all the cards out. He also sent some freebies, so that is pretty awesome. I'm gonna see what these are real quick, show you guys what he sent us. These will probably end up being part of a giveaway. He may or may not have meant them to be for a giveaway, but I've already done a giveaway, so we'll just do these for another video. Either, even if they were intended just for me, I think these are probably gonna be nice giveaway cards because that front card is already one of my favorite cards. I know you guys will really like the Arcana Art Dark Magician, so perfect kind of giveaway. Dark Magician Arcana, you guys know, that's awesome. We have Gaga's sister. That is from, okay, World Superstars. I've never actually opened a box of that. That would be a pretty fun video because you can get that Dark Magician, that blue eyes, that, you know, whatever they're called, Legendary Dragon on White and Magician of Dark, I think. Those are both really cool. Uh, Destruction Dragon, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Toon Dark Magician Girl from Dupo, that's awesome. Chocolate Magician Girl from MVP1 and a Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend from Mega Pack 2016. So the 2016 10s, pretty awesome little lot there. All right, let's get to the graded cards, which will all be for sale. So it'll be prices up on the screen. Uh, most likely is what we're gonna be selling them at. I'm gonna try to do the research about these before we actually get into them, uh, before we actually post the video. So here we go. Let's see what the first card is. We have, oh, some new cards, Rarity Collection, Change of Heart Quarter Century rare that's pretty sick actually i feel like that one will do decent like a lot of times newer cards i'm not i'm like you shouldn't grade these but something like quarter century change of heart i feel like could be decent let's see what the next card is i don't know am i going in okay i'm not going in order good i, I was like if this is all the tens in a row it'd be kind of anticlimactic harpy's pet dragon from forbidden memories i know a lot of people really like this card very nostalgic it has some forbidden memory okay maybe not forbidden but some memories for you guys pretty cool psa 8 we have a egyptian god slime so it looks like the rarity collection cards are performing well like the two for two on the psa 10s i mean that's a much older card forbidden memories so makes sense that one got the eight let's see what this next one is lava gold wow i feel like people are gonna be excited about these like i feel like there's gonna be a lot of interest from you guys I mean, picking up like specific cards you really like out of rarity collection, PSA 10 and the highest rarity, it just makes sense. Like that, that these are actual good choices, I think, for grading. Cause I'm, I'm sure he sent these at uh, like, you know, bulk or something like that. So it was only like, nowadays it's actually like $13.99 for bulk. So if you want to submit low end cards, it's actually getting close to where it's actually almost worth it. I mean, common still a little bit expensive, but for stuff like quarter centuries, I mean, it's not bad at all. Uh, oh, Heroic Champion and Diva. That's an Abyss Rising Ultimate Rare First Dead. Pretty old card. Abyss Rising, I think it's 20. <sighs> oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it. I saw your feedback. 2012. <laughs> uh, every time I try to guess the set and I forget, I can just read it off the freaking label. So I remember chat before. I know you guys were commenting. Just look at the label, Rocks. I got you. I got you. I read your feedback. Look, guys, I read the comments. What can I say? Okay. I'm not going to fall for that again. Okay, next we have... Dude, he graded the whole rarity collection in PSA 10. He's got a Borload Savage. This is a great start. Wow. Borload Savage Dragon. More of a playable card. Not one I would normally recommend, but at a $14 rate, you can basically grade anything besides like commons, and it's still pretty worth it if you get a 10. Okay, we have the uh, same thing with Baron. I mean, Baron, playable card. Not one I would say like, hey, you need to go like grade this because most of its value comes from being playable. But if you spend 14 bucks to grade it, and it gets a PSA 10, it's probably going to be fine. It only has to be worth 14 more dollars than you spent. It would not be worth it, but to break even. Okay, yeah, bulk really, like, you really throw all the rules out the window with, like, bulk low prices. Like, if it gets to 10 bucks or whatever, you can basically grade almost any card, and it's, and it's fine. Uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, that is one that will do super well, because Ancient Fairy Dragon does not have a Starlight Rare. A lot of the other ones do. It does have the QCR, and the PSA 10 will fit in that collection with the Starlights pretty well. Okay, uh, Black Rose, speaking of, this does have a Starlight, but this one's from the 10, right? Yeah, from the 10. So I have sold a few, a lot of the 10 promos. I still have a few left on my website, but we sold a bunch of those that we graded 100 different promos, actually, when it first came out. Those are going to do pretty well. The other options to PSA 10 Lightning Overdrive, which is pretty expensive, so that's a much cheaper version. 
Uh, okay, Gold Pride Captain Carry. Is that a, that's an actual Starlight Rare. This is not a quarter century. This is like a Starlight Starlight. So this thing's really hard to pull, 125 boxes. So a PSA 10 of that's going to be worth a decent amount. Don't think it has a quarter century yet, so no damage there. Okay, okay, Gorgon. I just said okay like five times. I feel like he bought a Gorgon from me. I wonder if this is the card that he bought from me and he graded a 10. It's definitely possible because I'm 99% sure he bought a Gorgon from me. So if that was, congrats on the PSA 10. Either way, congrats. But that's amazing. Look how many 10s we have. We have one eight and like a million 10s. Uh, Heavenly Zephyr Mirador. A lot of starlights here. This is a really solid grade. I mean, this is like, I don't know if he like sold the low ends or if like he just got a bunch of 10s. There is a protecting spirit. Low, low again. This is in the, the Dawn of Majesty. Yeah, with the Starlight Stardust. I remember. I remember all those starlights so well because I was so mad every time I got one. It wasn't a Stardust. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe maybe we were in order. Who knows? There's a PSA 9. We'll find out. We have Mech Mac Crusadia Avermax. So some of them did get 9s out of Rarity Collection. Unfortunately, they're not all going to be 10s. We have a... Oh, Blacklist or Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. Super Soldier. Oh, Soldier of Chaos is a different one. Super Soldier. This is from Dimension of Chaos 2015. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, Dimension of Chaos is one that we opened quite a bit back in 2020 and 2021, I think is were the years. It might, have, it might have been 2020. It was a long time ago. We had some extreme luck. We tried to pull this for forever. We kept pulling Ghost Shares instead. Super weird. So <laughs> that happened. Okay, Asian English. Let's see. Time Wizard. We got the, uh, yeah, way off center. That's why that got the nine, but... Probably super clean otherwise if it's still got a 9. MRD Time Wizard Asian English First Edition. Pretty unique card. You don't see MRD Asian English as much as you see like LOB, so it's pretty awesome. Here we have a 8 for the Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon from the old Rarity Collection. So that would have been a pretty cool 10. Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon's pretty awesome. Next we have the, oh, Ecclesia. That's a quarter century, not the Starlight. Starlight it used to be a massive card. It's like a $700 Starlight for a while. A lot cheaper now that you have access to this, but beautiful PSA 10 of that. So these are mixed in. I mean, the 10s aren't all gone. There might still be more. We have X Pearly Happiness Collector Rare. This is one where I'm kind of like, I don't really get grading this one, I guess, because of the EV stuff. But, but I mean, at, as I already said, bulk prices, but at an eight, it's probably not going to really end up being great for him. But that'll probably balance out with like some getting some tens, getting some nines, getting some eights and stuff like that. OK, the uh, Iris Sword Soul. I forgot this got a quarter century. This had a Starlight and Daughter Majesty as well. I was never happy to see this one, though. When it came out, it was pretty decent because people thought it'd be good in Sword Soul. It was before Sword Soul was really, really good because I think Burst of Death or uh, yeah, Burst of Destiny came out like right after this, a few months after. So it was like a speculation it'd be really good. So it was really expensive. The next card is Dark Sage, Dawn of Destiny Xbox promo. Very cool. Awesome. If this was a 10, this would be a really nice card. It's still nice, but it'd be pretty big value, I think. It'd probably be like 500 bucks. I, that's just a guess, actually. I shouldn't throw that out there. I don't know for sure. We have uh, Guilty Gear Free, the Magical Steel Knight. That got a PSA 10 as well. Gear Free card. So cool to see that collector rare from Kaiko. So, I mean, Kaiko was... 2021. I know. I know. Some of you guys might have heard that and been like 2021. That was three years ago. I know it was summer 2021, so we're not there yet. But three calendar years ago is ridiculous. I mean, Kaiko feels like it was like, I mean, it feels we were so excited about it. It was so different, you know, with like the different rarity. Since then, we've had a lot of cool sets, but pretty awesome. We have Imperial Bower also from uh, King's Court. We have uh, Gaga Ga Ga Magician. This came in a tin, actually. Tin promo. So very cheap card. PSA 10 probably would have been sweet, but I'm guessing the 9 is not going to be high-end or anything. But pretty weird that they did ulti promos for a while, but they did it out of those 10s. Oh, wow. The Obelisk the Tormentor, the theater promos. This is the one they did for Dark Side of Dimensions has the gold secret rare pattern, which is always pretty awesome. I personally really like it. Some people might think it's a little bit much. You know, it's all over the card. It's really hard to read, which is one of my criticisms for a quarter century. So I have to keep that in mind. You know, I can't I can't be. Uh, what's the word for that? What's the word where uh, you say one thing, do the other? What is that word? Oh, my gosh. I hate when this happens. This is this is what happens when you stay inside and just open Yu-Gi-Oh cards all day. You just forget words that exist that are like everyone knows them. So yeah, uh, hypocritical. There we go. Yeah, I can't be hypocritical about that. So that is one thing I don't do not like about that rarity. Okay, let's see what else we got. I finally figured it out. This is a win the win chance. See, okay, let's see which one's worse. They're both bad. I mean, they're both super hard to read. You can see the letters a little better here, but you can't see what they are. Like you see that there's something there, but you can't really see it here. You just see a bunch of mush. You're like, what in the world is that supposed to say? So, yeah, I, I don't like when they have names you just can't read. So that's kind of stupid. So 
Uh, that's very cool, though, in a quarter century. That's just my gripe with the quarter century rare. And we have a... Oh, these are so hard to grade, actually, out of the Mega 10 2022. 10 of the Pharaoh Gods. I graded a bunch of these. I only got a few 10s. Like, 8s uh, and 9s and 7s are things that happen right out of the 10. So, uh, I can't say I'm surprised to see an 8 out of there. I mean, those... I mean, the artwork is so cool on some of those, too. I like the skinny red eyes. Uh, speaking of skinny red eyes, we got a second one, but and also a PSA 8. Should be a pretty cheap card then, because, you know, it's not super valuable. It's out of a Mega 10. They don't get super valuable. PSA 8's not going to help much. Uh, if the World Chalice Justice are, this one I believe is actually already sold, because the guy who sent them to me said, hey, I got somebody who wanted that card, so I think we're going to be working that out. But if it doesn't happen, then may maybe it'll go back up for sale on Instagram or something. At Ruxin34, make sure you follow me. Okay, still a bunch of cards left, so let's keep going. A bunch of new cards that are really cool. This is awesome. Okay, I, I'm a sucker for this card. Dark Magician from Speed Duel. Battle City, I think. I mean, they keep doing Battle City, but like in different names, so I can't keep up, but this is a very cool card. The original logo for my channel it used to not be my face and like the weird thing that's my current logo it used to just be this it was just a picture of i mean not that one specifically but arcana dark magician uh we have a nine from legendary collection joey's world psa that is a first ad as well so that's not wait no joey is always first ad so that's fine uh we have oh Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, PSA 10. This is not a big card when it comes to like value of this card raw, but a PSA 10 Ghost Rare, this is not easy to get. It doesn't matter which one it is. If you ever get a PSA 10 Ghost Rare, it doesn't matter how new it is. This is what, 2021? That's crazy, that was that long ago. That's a big hit. That's pretty awesome, actually. A PSA 10 Crystal Clear Wing Synchro, I would have expected this to get like an eight or nine, you know, with those kind of cards. So, wow, that is awesome. Very nice. Let's see what the next one is. Ooh, the blue eyes got a 10 too. I'm t I told you guys, I got a bunch of eights and sevens on the blue eyes. So that's a pretty nice grade. Very, very nice grade. Let's see what the next thing is. An eight, see, there's the eights. <laughs> there they are. Okay, at least no sevens yet. Knock on wood, everybody. Knock on wood. It's probably gonna get a seven now. Uh, okay, number 39, Utopia Roots from Laval, Legacy of the Valiant, first dead, PSA 9. Let's see what the next card is. We have Slate, I jinxed it. <laughs> I shouldn't have jinxed it. Slate Warrior, PSA 7. Okay, yeah, I mean, cool card, but PSA 7, so not great. Uh, from World Championships, which I, do I have that, do I have that game? Right there, there's the game. That's the game it came from, right back there in the background, which some, it might even could be the Euro version, which may throw it off, but you never know. It's that original one, you know, okay, DMG PSA 9. Very nice. That That's also from Mega 10, so very hard to grade. Let's see what else we got. PSA 9 for the movie pack as well. Secret Edition, which is really, really clean. The I really like the Gold Edition as well, but as you guys saw, it can get a little crazy on the rarity, but uh, they look a little bit less crazy than the, the promo did that we just saw. We got Ib again. Okay, maybe this is the... I guess they wanted the PSA 10. I don't know if they wanted the 9 out of 10. So one of the Ibs is is called for, I think. Okay, uh, there's a Dark Side of Dimension Theater promo again. Very hard to read. PSA 9, not a 10 this time. A few cards left. Let's see. We have Decode Talker. That is a... I graded... A, yeah, I graded 100 of these, as I said earlier. The Mega 10 2023 promos. These are pretty awesome. The one problem, you just can't read them, but... The shininess is really cool. Deco Talker, not necessarily. I still have a few Deco Talkers. I sold out of most of the big cards, even though they're more expensive. Deco Talker is a little harder to sell, but uh, you know, it's there. We have the Elemental Hero Neos, pretty awesome as well. Quarter Century, this is a big one. Obviously, Elemental Hero Neos, you know, everybody likes that card. More tens than anything else. It, well, I mean, c combined, it might be close, but uh, we have the nine on the Odd Ice Pendulum Dragon. He's not getting great grades on these uh, on these ten promos, surprisingly. I think I did okay. I got a bunch of tens. I got a bunch of nines. I got some eights as well. I don't think I got any seven. I maybe got like one seven. We have Rainbow. Dr why why do I keep jinxing? Why do I keep jinxing? I'm sorry, Rainbow Dragon. He already knows these, fortunately, so it's not like I really jinxed them. You know, if they were coming out of the package, it'd be pretty sad. Uh, he had already seen the grades, so that's good. Rainbow Dragon, PSA 7. A few cards left. I feel like they may have been in order. No, they, they're not in order. <laughs> I keep thinking maybe they were sort of in order. No, there's a PSA 10 Rainbow Dragon. That is beautiful. Awesome looking card. Overall, this has been a pretty awesome one. We have two cards left. Let's see what this is. Uh, pfft. See, they feel kind of in order. It's like they're slowly making their way. Like the average card is like a lot lower. That's a Cyber Dragon 6. There's one more card. Is this like the PSA 2 of the thing? Or is this a surprise PSA 10 Cyber Dragon? Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. And uh, if you are interested in any of these cards, check me out on Instagram at Ruxin34. I will try to put these up on Ruxin34.com very soon. I still have some stuff up there, but I have so much going on. I haven't gotten everything up there. We got a lot for sale that really should be up there. Eventually, I'll get it up there.
Last card. Let's see what it was. Ah, oh, it was the worst grade. Okay, Elemental Hero Neos. There was some sort of order. They weren't completely in order, though. There were some 10 sprinkled throughout, which made it still really interesting. Honestly, like, if that was one return, that was really good. Because you always get the random five or the six. You either miss something, they misgrade it. You know, usually it's you missed it, but sometimes they misgrade it. But if you end up with this many 10s compared to everything else, I mean, you can't even see the top of it. That is a lot better than a most subs are, even though this is new cards, but a lot of these new cards don't have great print quality, so they end up like this. So overall, pretty great sub and some nice cards for sale. Well, I'm most excited about that Ghost Rare. That's pretty amazing to get a 10 on. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Puff and Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Sai Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.